Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the 15th annual Strut Fashion Show. Welcome, everybody, to the Strut Fashion Show. I am Adam Brooks. I am actually not a model. I am not a designer. Bet you couldn't tell. But uh, I am the executive director of SEBA, which is the South End Arts and Business Association. And this is our 26th year putting on the South End Art Hop. And if you were out today or out last night, we really hope that you enjoyed it. It's a wonderful event, but this right here is my favorite. You're gonna see some amazing local designers with a lot of models, some funky, some normal, some outlandish. You are gonna have a great time tonight and these designers really deserve your support. We could not put on this event for a thousand people and 20 designers uh, without the help of Seven Days. Seven Days is our uh, presenting sponsor for Strut. We also need to thank Sequoia Salon. Now I know where you are. A great South End business that did all the hair for the models. You guys are fantastic. Also, Chinoa Small and January Simpson for handling the makeup duties this year. You guys were fantastic. Everybody hit the bar. Magic Hat. Thank you guys so much for providing the bar tonight. You guys are fantastic. And I would not have this gigantic spotlight in my face and this wonderful microphone in my hand if it wasn't for the guys at VCAM and Jamie and Forrest. Thank you guys so much. And especially all the way from Florida, our DJ, Robbie J. So the Art Hop is a fantastic event. We're gonna have about, at the end of the tomorrow, about 35,000 people that come to the South End to support the businesses and to support the artists uh, that are here in the South End. And it's really important that we encourage them, that we spend our money with them and really support them. Just like you're all supporting our fantastic designers. The Art Hop is sponsored by Northfield Savings Bank. I'm gonna have Chris Jarvis, who is the Vice President of Community Banking, say a little something about Northfield Savings Bank and why Art Hop is so important to them. Thanks, Adam. I just wanna thank everybody for coming out tonight. Uh, Northfield Savings Bank is thrilled to be part of this event. Uh, you're gonna see some tremendous entrepreneurship tonight. Uh, we'd be thrilled to be part of it. We've been in business for over 150 years. We are Vermont's largest uh, Vermont-based bank. So it's events like this that we just love getting involved in the community. And what a better place, better night, better weather. So thanks for coming out. Thank you very much, Chris. Are you ready for whale hats? Are you ready for glitter? Are you ready for frills and hopefully no spills? All right, without further ado, I'm gonna introduce you to our co-host tonight. Tim Cavanaugh and Maggie Lenz. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. How's everybody doing? Come on, how the fuck are you doing? You guys ready for some fashion? It's gonna get weird, you guys. We've seen it. It's gonna get weird. Should I show them how it's done? Let's go. Oh, there it is. Work it. Work it. Come on, make some noise for her. Make some noise. There we go. Uh-huh. Yeah. There it is. Whoa, hello. All right, what's most impressive about that is Maggie literally has a broken foot right now. So story. let's give it up for her. She really does. If I can do that, just wait and see what the yeah. other people can do. All right, well, welcome. It's so We're so glad to be here. It is the 15th year of Strut. It's the 26th year of Art Hop. And thank you all for being such great supporters of local arts. We hope you have been having a great time at Art Hop. Have you? All right. You are not going to believe some of the designs we've seen tonight, right? And some of the ages of the designers. We have a really young crowd of designers. I think it's incredible. And we're lucky to live in such a creative state. 
Yeah, in fact, where's my CBU people right now? CBU people? CBO? Yeah. You are well represented tonight. Well represented. What about South Burlington? Where's yep. South Burlington? All right. Look at that. They divided. They divided. All right. And there's got to be some Waldorf people in here. Anyone? Waldorf? All right. They're here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, I think we should go ahead and get this party started. What do you guys say? What do you guys say? All right, then. Let's We've got it. 17 designers. We're going to start it off with number one. Here she is, Katerina Lasisas. She Check. was born and raised in rural Vermont. And she is now living in Winooski. This is perfect. Let's get some energy in the How room. How much fun is this right now? This year, she really focused on sewing pieces that were a bit more practical, yet she wants everyone to feel excited about what they are personally wearing. This is also uh, only her second year participating in the Strut Fashion Show. Her second time. Look at this right here. I do believe there's going to be a message on the back of that for Look all of you. Look at the back for your message right there. A lot of the designers have messages that are on their clothing. A little so, fun fact about uh, Sorry about that. About Katarina uh, is that she works for guess who? Bernie Sanders. How about that? This is a true Vermont fashion show. You don't get that in New York, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes some color pop right now. Come on, ladies. Who would wear that? You would wear that, right? And gentlemen, and anyone in between. I'd wear it. So she she feels strongly that the more texture and patterns, the better, as you can see. And sewing is her passion, not her paycheck. But if you want to purchase anything, you're going to have to ask her because she has no website. No website for her whatsoever. You're going to have to catch her on Church Street, though. Not even a MySpace page. All right, here comes our next model. Look at this. How fun is this? An elegant overcoat. What happens when it comes off, though, you wonder? Oh, pop What's it, girl. Like? Hey, hey, now. That is a fantastic color, Tim. Oh. You didn't know you were getting free gifts in the audience, did you? That was a balloon, right? I, I'm actually not. I'm just making sure. I had the same thought. So while a cathartic release, designing and sewing is her passion. This has kind of got the Vermont rural undertones to it. I believe that would be a crushed velvet. Is that, am I correct, Maggie? Tim, why, yes, you are. That I is am crushed a velvet. Did you just go Google that? I, no, I just like was looking at it thinking that's got to be crushed velvet. I believe it's crushed velvet. It looks fantastic. Some more of that crushed velvet. Here, Here come we all are. the models right now. Give it up. Katarina would like to say a big thank you to all her friends and family who have still remained. The balloons come down. We reset the stage for every designer. It's one of the things we do here. That's true. That's what makes Art Hops so special. So we're going to bring our next designer out. Please put your hands together for Sideways. Oh, the CBU students know 
Let's go on right now. Just did it. That's right. This clothing was designed by Thomas and Ezra Brown. Two CBU students. Sideways is a venture into streetwear. Streetwear and clothing with the goal to instill a vivid mood through their use of simplicity. I am just an icon living. More messages on these shirts. Check it out. You can also follow their Instagram if you would so like at sideways.clothing and sidewaysvermont.com. This is good streetwear, Tim. I, I can't do the hop, skip, and jump like her. I don't know what it is. Maybe not anymore. <laughs> the crop sweatshirt look right there. Look at that. That is a cool look. I've only been able to wear a crop sweatshirt once, but that's because it wasn't my size and it was already riding up. I find that very hard to believe. trying to make the whole crowd go nuts. What? Look. We don't know, no one of the fun like facts you. about Go Sideways is, is that like this design no started eyes, as a no school project school. for them. Right. And here we right. go, check this out. Would you gonna make you go cycle? Put a hundred thousand dollars in the Bible. Ooh. I took the game with my eyes closed. Last verse was before the award show. Right? So Sideways is influenced by yeah, Virgil Abloh, Tyler the Creator, and the so skate so scene, as you can probably tell. So Young Jaden dying on the floor, so what? She broke my heart to the core, so what? I guess we all gotta grow up. I'm just an icon living. Start a record label, Miss Fish just did it. This is the jacket I want. You like this jacket? I really like this jacket. Nice message on the back, but I'm sure there's something underneath as well. I think I can, I think I can take that guy. It's her second stretch showcase. Give it up for the designs of Claire Maxwell. And sewing has been her passion as long as she can remember. This collection is based on uh, industrial utilitarian style elements, as you can probably tell. Pockets, that's what I'm excited about, pockets. This jumpsuit separates into a jacket and pants set. How fantastic is that? There's another unique design of that same style right here. Check this out. I love that one. I love how the belt is left open on this. I know you like open belts. See, I, I, I'm all about the open belt. But yet, yeah, yours, yours remains so good. Uh, later, later. The night's young. All right, we've also got some formal look for this designer. Check this out. Check out that zipper. That is a real zipper. If you want to make that dress shorter, you just unzip the bottom four inches. How about that? Belts open, zippers off. <laughs> it's the 8.30 show. Oh, yeah. 
What about that rainy weather that we sometimes get here in Vermont? Well, check out what's coming out next. How about this? My youth is the foundation we made. A detachable raincoat in this design, ladies and gentlemen. So I just, I have a quick question. Um, does anyone here know uh, that, uh, do, you, do you know any whale facts by any chance? Whale, fa yeah. whale facts? I don't, Why I don't do I know. know whale facts? I just felt like we should take a second and hear some whale facts. Well, because Lake Champlain used to be an yeah, ocean. Yeah, just maybe. because it was right there. So we're just going to stop for a second. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but a young blue whales, uh, they can gain weight at over 250 pounds a day. That's like eating me. So I just thought you guys wanted to know that. It's not related to anything, but can we bring out our next designer? Uh, Star Watcher, please. I can't believe where this is going. Well, look at this. Hey, hey. There we go with Star Watcher. These beautifully unique designs with the glowing whale hats will illuminate the ways humans and whales interact with each other. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, I have another whale fact. All right. Hit me with your whale fact. Blue whales can eat as much in one mouthful as a human eats in a year. In one mouthful. In one year. Seriously. In one mouthful. Why is this all about blue whales? I don't know. What do you got? I believe these are humpback whales that are on the head. Really? And the eerie skeletal designs are just really amazing. I think I could rock a hat like that. What do you guys think, right? There comes some more right here. One of the neat things about the illumination here is really evoking the ghost of the whales that have, uh, that have left us through all the hunting throughout the centuries. swim moves once again. The humpback songs have structures and tunes and spread the way that the human popular music also moves. One of the very unique things about the whale sounds themselves. I did not know that. I did not know until I read it. <laughs> that's, an, that's an enviable runway walk as well. There we go. Nicely done. Swim to freedom, little whale. Big whale. Oh, sorry. And now we'll take one last look with Star Watcher. And the ghostly whaling ships that took the lives of hundreds and thousands of whales over the centuries. Okay, he's coming hard to port now. Wait, no, that's Starboard. No, that's Porn. That's Starboard. It's going to come about now. There we go. That's Starboard. <laughs> Pretty sure I know what Starboard is, Tim. And here we go. Let's bring them all out one more time. The designs of Star Watcher, ladies and gentlemen. Christian 
himself bringing up the rear. Let's keep it going. The energy, where is it? Star Watch. I want to watch Pirates of the Caribbean now. All right, let's just finish this. All right, who's up next? We have Ellen Bewley Designs. All right, there comes some attitude right now, so get ready for it. Come on, bring up the house. Ellen's designs are made to be practical, comfortable, and approachable. Her inspiration is always drawn from vintage classics, and they also meet laid back surf style. Laid back surf side, huh? Yes, that's right. All right. Do you surf? Do I look like I surf? No. All right, check out this design right here. How unique is this? What is the dye? The, they are using natural turmeric. Turmeric dyeing technologies. A very good spice for you. It has many health benefits. I do like turmeric. In addition to being a good dye, it's awesome for the bladder. It is good for the bladder. And how do you activate turmeric? Do you know? I don't. With ground pepper. Deal. That's how you activate it. Deal. Yeah. Check out this fun design. We're just going to call that short and sassy. Yes, we are. Everything is handmade with love for the laid back, easy days of summer that we are missing right now and beyond. Turmeric again yeah, in the house. Yeah, turmeric right there. I'll tell you, when I put turmeric on my eggs, it never looks like that. I, I should hope not. <laughs> I'm gonna try harder. She's busting the moves down the aisle. Come on, make some noise for her. We got the fan base over here, must be, right? Sunglasses, right? Uh, yes. Yes? Correct. <laughs> You're looking at your notes. Must be someone big's coming up next. Who yes. is it? Now we are going to bring to the stage the designs of Olivia Miller and Cami Kutida. <laughs> CBU, perhaps? Yes. Stand the modern bar. 
pants, the high water pants. And if it was true 70s, they'd be bell bottom. Correct. Next, we have a brand uh, designed by three friends. This is Madeline Kinsley, Adam Roof, and Colin Hilliard. And this is Kinsley and Company. Wow, Kinsley and Company. Check it out, here comes my man, Evan, right now. Give it up for him. <laughs> Evan is wearing an original fit Kinsley top with a pink and pineapple pattern and the all white Terry shorts. Come on, Evan, open up that jacket. Show us what you're made of, my man. Work it, Evan! Kinsley's are intended to be attention getters and conversation starters. That's right, Evan wants some love in the room right Wait, now. Can I see these pockets for a second? These pockets fit a 12 ounce drink. They're koozies, you guys. Two. So That's like 24 the, ounces. So it's the Kinsley Kloosley. The Kinsley Kloosley. Well, give it up for Zoe, ladies and gentlemen. She's sporting the Kingsley Custom Tank with a fresh lemon pattern. A shout out to Pit Viper Sunglasses who provided the shades for the models. Pit Vipers is just another company with deep roots here in Vermont. So all these are custom made in Burlington. Get ready, ladies, here he comes. Custom pair of Kinsley Terry shorts and headband. You don't have to tell him to work it. He'll work it. Come on, Critter, work that runway. Show us what you got, man. Yeah, my man. Critter. You can check out their launch collection. It's on sale now at kinsleyandco.com. And here comes Emily. She's rocking the flower power pattern crop top and a ton of style. Both crop tops and original fit shirts are on sale at kinsleyandco.com. There are over six patterns to choose from and more are always on the way. Give it up for Emily one more time. All right, get ready for Caitlin, and I mean, really get ready. She might have something she's throwing out there. She's got the yellow fern pattern crop top. Come on, get your hands up for her. Where is she gonna throw it? There it goes. How about that yellow fern pattern crop worn by Caitlin? All right, ladies have asked for Critter to come back. You want him back? Here he comes. This time he's showing off the silver fern pattern. I don't know if it's fern or firm. Is it firm? Nicely done, Critter. All right, here comes Zoe and Evan again. That's right, check it out. That's right, Kinsley does couples, matching patterns. And this particular one, worn by Zoe and Evan, is called Psychedelic. Let's give it up for them. Well done, 
one, my friend. All right, let's bring them all out one more time. Ladies and gentlemen, Kinsley and company. Let's make some noise. You guys are adorable. <laughs> That's our boy Evan bringing down the house every time. This is gonna be a little bit different because this is mostly jewelry. Um, this is going to be a company and the designers are Connie Coleman, Sue Tan, and Marie Jose. Are you guys ready? This is alchemy. Nice, so it's all about the jewelry, the accessories. And check this out. This one was made by casting tiny tree branches. That's fantastic, an actual tree branch that's been cast, is that cast in silver? What a beautiful necklace that is. And truly Vermont made with a Vermont twig. The twigs are from Mount Philco. Oh, seriously. you're gonna see, this piece gets its texture from silk fabric. And these come from Marie Jose's uh, silk impression collection. about Alchemy, it is a woman-owned small business by two designer goldsmiths. How about that? That's fantastic. I love this one. A lot of color going on in that necklace right there. I love the blue, I love the shimmering coming off the blue of the necklace right there. It's, but then the pendant itself really helps make it all pop together. Fun jewelry. And this one is a winner. It's kind of like spring like fun with all those daisies around her neck. It's exactly like that. Yeah, I like that. It's exactly like that. It's exactly like that. It's exactly like that. Alchemy Jewelry Arts and Liam and Liam collaborated for the first time in this strut fusion. The band carved leather and fine metal works into these featured pieces of jewelry like this one right here. This beautiful pop of red. Check this out. That is stunning. It really can become all about the jewelry sometimes, too. So Pine and Howard, it's right here at the, like the crossroads of Art Hop itself. That's right. That's fantastic. You know, we're actually a little more than halfway through now. Um, how are you guys feeling? How's it going out there? Yeah. Let's get the energy back in the room. Let's yeah, give these designers some love. You all came through the magic hat entryway, so you must be feeling pretty good, right? 
All right, who's up next? Who's up next? We have Delaney Brunvard. Make some noise. CB News. So this collection is inspired by British fashion trends and designers. The queen herself. Did you say the queen himself? <laughs> yes, the queen. The Maybe queen. the queen. Check it out, simple but fun. And every piece in this collection is a different pastel color for a different energetic, bright feel. Whoa, check it out. Really cute, really fun. Hey, check out the scrunchie that's on top of her head right there. That scrunchie. The two friends that are the designers sewed scrunchies together to raise money for a school project. That's how it began and has turned into a clothing line. How about that? I can't tell if this is South Burlington or CDU. I know, I'm so confused. Where are we? Or Waldorf. And yet we're in Burlington. Yes. <laughs> Fun pants. Very casual, but you can use them just about anywhere. That's true. And you can fit so many things in those pockets. I love pockets. It's all about the pockets. Whoa, talk about fun. I love what you can do with these. You can actually turn that into a short set by removing the legs. I feel like you're going to go home and do that with all your pants. I'm totally going to cut these off tomorrow. And I love how the back matches that as well. Beautiful. Oh, a little bit more formal. If I hadn't homeschooled, that would have been my prom dress. That would have been your prom dress? Yes. I think I would have worn that to the prom. What color is that? Uh, I actually have no idea. Oh, that's right. My, my co MC is colorblind. It's like a violet, right? Just, just in the purple family. It's just in the purple family. That's beautiful. Fun, casual, but yet formal wear as well. And here they all Let's come. Let's give it up. The Lady Brunvard, ladies and gentlemen, a junior at CBU. What is in the CBU water? What are they giving you to drink? It's amazing. Amazing job, ladies. Wow. Wow. Where's wow. our CBU people again? They are all over Wait, the place. Wait, South Burlington? Where's South Burlington? Burlington? Where are you? Waldorf, here. Waldorf. Hey. Come on, everyone give Waldorf some love right now. Here we go. All right, here we go. Speaking of Waldorf, she's coming up. This is Designs by Grace, and she is from Waldorf High School. I believe a freshman, is that correct? A I believe freshman. That's here correct. we go. Check this out. I don't know what you guys were doing when you were freshmen, but I wasn't making, uh, well, clothing at all, but. Oh, I was totally in the design uh, age, yeah. No, I was not. So the necklaces uh, connect the dresses to each other. They're the same style, but have different characteristics. So what's the name of this so dress? So this dress is actually called Journey. Oh, I love that. The next dress we're going to see is called Dream. And she's designed these with each model in mind. Look at that dress. The dream sequence right there, designed by a freshman in high school, ladies and gentlemen. The next dress we're gonna see is called Success. And you can see why. She is pulling success off right there as she makes her way down the runway. styles are what inspire her, and she's been inspired by the models to create these looks. That's fantastic, making them completely unique. This is uh, her first year at Strut. All right, ladies, if you like pink, get ready for our next 
Bow. Say goodbye to success. Here comes Inspire. A pink one shoulder dress with a beautiful train. And notice how the train matches those shoes. Yes, I did notice that the shoes match the train. I get confused. I don't know. I don't know either. We'll talk about this later. All right, I believe we've got one more. If you can imagine, this is Imagine, right here. Imagine. A blue and white strapless gown. Now that's a prom dress. <laughs> that is a prom dress. That's oh, yes, thank you, Tim. I'd love to. <laughs> Would you like to go to the prom? Sure. Oh, excellent. We will look so out of place. Beautiful. Once again, that was Imagine. Now let's bring them all back out one more time. Ladies and gentlemen, Designs by Grace. And there's young Grace from Waldorf High School right there. we have next we have the looks by lava designs these are really unique designs and we'll be talking through them all look at this off it comes i love the uniqueness of all of this design right here because these are all sprayed with acid which makes them all completely personalized and unique not the kind of acid that Tim is used to, but... Not, yeah, not that kind of acid. Like this, look at this young couple right here. Check them out. One of the goals of Lava is to make unique shirts that are customizable, affordable, with no two being exactly the same. Oh, those are awesome. Check this out, Superwoman coming through. Lava Designs was created last spring by a 14-year-old. something about this design. So this is the fourth look that's in collaboration with BMJ Poetry. This is Poetry in Motion. This is our model and our poet. And he's wearing his poetry on the he's shirt. He's wearing his poetry. How about that? If you want to follow him, his Instagram handle is at BMJ Poetry. Runway right now. 
Really showing off how completely unique each one of these designs really truly is. One of the places where you can find Lava Designs is at Battery Street Jeans right here in Burlington. As a matter of fact, right across the street, which is not on Battery Street, but it used to be. But here they come, everybody. Lava Designs! starting to near the end. We are getting closer and closer all the time, but this is where South Burlington comes in. Here we you go. You guys ready? We didn't forget about you. We have Ayana Chastanay. Check out this line. This is fantastic. This is my new favorite color ever. And I think some of the fiercest walks are in Ayana's design. Check her out. You make up some noise for this beautiful design right now. Ayana's put her blood, sweat, and tears into her design, and she is so thrilled to be at Strut. Look at this. That top is incredible. That top is absolutely incredible, is right. It's upcycled champagne colored curtains, ladies and gentlemen. Talk about repurposing. And this is all designed by a 17-year-old senior at South Burlington High School. Now look at this. How about this? I don't want to pick favorites, but I think I might have a favorite. Dress right there. Now I would wear this to the prom right here. And I would go with you so proudly. You would? So proudly. I love the color of the purple in there, but honestly. It's an incredible shape. Yeah, and we're looking like at that champagne ish color again uh, on here. So it really complements each other so nicely. You are such a fashionista. <laughs> I have no idea. All right, you guys are not going to believe what you are about to see. I want you to put your hands together. Get ready to read the book right now. This is a large train and dress made from the actual book. Blood, sweat, and tears. Look at the beautiful dress. It almost makes me want to go home and read right now. It makes you want to what? Just go home and read. Just leave the show. <laughs> I wish I could read. How about that? How fitting is that? Blood, sweat, and tears, which is exactly what went into making a dress just like this. How beautifully creative. All right, so let's go ahead and bring them all back out. Here come all the models from Alanya Chastanay. And our South Burlington senior designer right there. I want that one. That's a fantastic line. That's a super fantastic line. We still doing good out there, everybody? You want a little bit more? A little bit more? We've got a couple more for you if you want them. A couple All more. All righty. 
Here we go, this next one up is called Frost Designs. This entire line is all about simple and modern designs, but that can be worn in everyday use. These are super wearable, but also pretty, pretty sassy. I would not be able to get away with that with my muffin top. No, you it's just not gonna work. Wait, body positivity. No, you don't want to get some sense of look at this one. The back of this one is incredible. I happen to agree with you. I love the back on the crisscross pattern on this. Wait till she makes the turn, ladies and gentlemen, and you'll see what we're talking about. This is cross designs. We're gonna keep it going. I have a feeling the simplicity of the look is deceiving. I couldn't make that. No? I don't think so. I'll try. I don't think I could either. You see the different layers though. You can see it cutting through the transparency through on the other lines and everything. Like this one, look at the top on this. I like the V color top that really accentuates the entire top, but I know what you like. Genie, genie pants. Right. I like that. Check out those pants right there, the nice cutaway design right there. Oh no, I like the whole thing actually. I like the whole thing. I think you could jump out of a plane and they would allow you to come down, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay. We're gonna bring back MC Hammer. Hammer, Hammer never went anywhere to Hey, look at her! Look at this young lady! Work it, little mama! She's gonna own the runway right here. She's gonna snap and bow! Make some noise for little mama! Designs, ladies and gentlemen. Amazing job, ladies. Really simple with the colors on that line, Incredible. but it all worked together so nicely. That was great. I feel like getting a little bit more casual, maybe some t-shirts right now. What do you think? Oh, whatever you say, Tim. All right, so who's our next designer? Let's take it down to Queen City Clothing. All right, then. The first models will be wearing t-shirts by Queen City Clothing, which is available at Sweet Cheese Smoke Shop on Shelburne Road. But take a good look at those sneakers that she's showing off right now. She's wearing guest shoes designed by Holstein himself, the designer. Check out the pendant that he has on as well. All the pendants that you'll see the models in with this designer are designed by Holstein. Very cool pendant on that one. It's amazing. I like yeah, that one. I love it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. And another pendant. Here she comes. Make some noise for her. She's working for you right now.
now. Other than Bernie, it doesn't get a lot more of Vermont. That man is the party right there. Check out those pants. Some just good, just rolled out of bed runway attitude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this is what I'm wearing today. It's what I wore yesterday. <laughs> good morning. And now we're gonna have the designer Holstein himself wearing clothes that he designed out of old clothes, other designers' work, high-end fashion items like luggage tags, quotes, lyrics. There's also some lies told by his ex-lovers written on the back. He's been around the block. Look at all those lovers' quotes on the back. That's there. a lot of lies and a lot of lovers. Make some noise for Holstein, ladies and gentlemen. This is the designer right here. That's awesome. Holstein. I just noticed the suspenders built into the shirt design itself. The That's pouch. pretty cool. Look at it. Check it out. All right, let's bring it all out one more time, ladies and gentlemen. Queen City Clothing. Make some noise for Queen City! All right, we're down to only a few left right now. This is Teresa O'Leary and her designs right now. South Burlington! There we go. Check out the first designs right now. This is Teresa's second year doing strut. We changed things up, came out the other side. So the colors for this collection are all chosen to center around the color purple, including this Panatone swatch on the back of his I raincoat. I love it. The ultraviolet designs and colors of this designer is beautiful. It's all about the faux fur, though. Check it out. Also, you can see the jewelry that all these models are wearing has been uh, donated by Vita Liberta Custom Jewelry from New York City. Wow, no kidding. New York. And I dare say that I actually have a rug in my powder room that looks just like that faux fur. That's so weird, Tim. That is so bizarre. <laughs> How beautiful is that, though? I like the overcoat, but the simple designs, almost summer-like underneath. It's got some kind of Austin Powers touches to it. All right, it's getting chilly, or is it getting hot? Here we go. This is the prom dress. This is the prom dress. That's that's my prom dress. See the ultraviolet colors? Yes, not, that, not that I'm looking, I'm not looking. <laughs> Where's some more of that whole fur right now? No poodles were harmed. No poodles were harmed? I hope not. <laughs> poodles? I don't know, poodle. Looks like a poodle. <laughs> And here's something for the guys right now. That is the violin. 
Philip Littoral. I'd say even the shades are violent. Check that out. That's what you're wearing to prom with me. All right. Let's bring all of the models back out for Teresa O'Leary. Make noise. And there's Teresa herself, ladies and gentlemen. This collection alone. From lingerie to raincoats. You can't go wrong with Teresa O'Leary. This next collection is a special partnership and a really, really meaningful collection. It's got a message. This is, um, this designer has partnered with Change the Story tonight to help spread the word that you can change clothes, change minds, and change the story. So please give it up for T by Dem and Change the Story. And a little Aretha Franklin. Here we go. They're wearing dresses designed and sewn by Veronica Senga. This is an unseen combo of Swedish functionality and African textile. functionality and African textile and happiness, just pure happiness. That's the name of this textile is happiness. It's beautiful. And I love the utility aprons that they're wearing and we're going to be seeing them put more to use as the That's designer's exactly models right. come out. They're changing the way that we look at traditional roles between women and men. We're about to see t-shirts. I changed the story of Vermont. They believe that women and girls need every opportunity afforded to men and boys to do meaningful work for equal pay. And look at the message on the back of the t-shirts as well. It's gonna take all of us to make a change, you guys. Make some noise for this shit right here. Change the story, equal, period. And please look at your chairs. You're gonna have cards that will tell you what you can do to advance uh, women and the power of the Vermont economy. Hey, look at this, it's the modern day Roxy the Riveter. This is our modern day mechanic, Callie. This is a strong woman who likes to get things done and she's got the pockets to put tools in to prove it. And this is why I like pockets, Tim. This, I can see why you like pockets. For all my tools. She looks like she's from the cast of Sweeney Todd. Please give it up for T by Dem. And be the change. And then there was one. Is this it? This is it. Guys, We're down to our final designer, this is our ladies final and gentlemen. Designer. You made it through, but guess what? We've got another CVU or she's a senior. <laughs> Give it up for the design lines of Sophia Cresta. Champagne, Wearing the crimson color of 
Sun. So she only took a few sewing classes and then she just started designing. And she wants her designs to be bright, chic, and edgy, and I think she has accomplished that. She totally has nailed it. And we happen to see backstage some of the other designs from Sophia. I really like how she used the crimson tie color itself right there for CBU. Oh, is that true? Is that the color? Look at this one right here. There's that bow and sheep look that you were just talking about. I was just talking about that. There's so much going on with those pants, with the ribbon ties, and then with the top and the matching ribbon as well. They fit together perfectly. Beautiful. And when you can really see all the colors of that top, it really pulls together. Hey, look at this! You wanna drink like Love Beijing this. and dance like Trini. And it's got pockets! Yeah. It's got pockets! We got pockets, ladies and gentlemen! Yeah. Vacations are done, but I'm not finished. No. Champagne with breakfast while I'm yawning. You can't drink all day if you're start in the morning. Lord, forgive me, I can't take things slowly. Now, how about this one? This one. It's like the Little Mermaid here in, in Burlington, right? I got to that AstroTurf. What about AstroTurf beats Mermaid? I like it. Look at how it moves and it's actually almost transparent in there as well as you see through the light. Alright. All you plumbers wondering what to do with that extra copper. Well, here you go. Make a dress, says Sophia. Let's just go right home and go make a dress. Yeah. I'll just cut it up. She just started sewing. I don't understand how this is possible. All right, here they come, all the lines from Sophia Cresta, ladies and gentlemen. And there's young Sophia herself. To our final design. Amazing. Yeah, one more ladies. time for Sophia Cuesta, ladies and gentlemen. You guys, how's it been? It's an incredible show, right? Vermont's a pretty amazing place. Why don't we bring everyone out and take one last look at everything rapid fire, shall we? You guys Let's have been amazing. Do it. Let's make some noise. For Come everybody! On, make some noise for all everybody! The and here they come now. All your designers.
our hosts, Tim Cavanaugh and Maggie Lenz. Thanks, guys.